Video from the Cummo 4 drone shows the damage caused by an overnight fire at a school in Burien. That fire is now being investigated as arson. Fire broke out this morning at the old Southern Heights Elementary on 14th Avenue South, which is still used as a school today. Cummo's Denise Whitaker brings us reaction from the community. This campus now boarded up for safety. Fire investigators making clear this is now an arson investigation. Take a look at the intensity of these flames. The battalion chief telling us the fire raced so fast through this building, it quickly escalated to a two alarm fire. And now we see the full extent of the damage from the Como 4 drone. The roof of the gymnasium gone. It's just scary. Like, I mean, we have to protect our kids. The building still says Southern Heights Elementary, but the Highline School District uses this campus for two other schools, the Innovation Heights Academy and the Virtual Academy. One of Rosie Lotta's three daughters attended the Virtual Academy. She loved it. It worked amazing. Um, she learned so many things through virtual. The staff for Virtual Academy likely lost a lot of their equipment in this fire. <laughs> District crews already removed scorched bushes and started cleaning up all of the fire debris. The superintendent also addressed the next steps forward from this fire during an afternoon school board meeting. They've already assigned an adjuster and we know we have 45 days to do what we can to assess if our students will be on site or we have to find another location um, for them. Well, the district sorts out those details. Sergeant Eric White with the King County Sheriff's Office tells me this is a criminal investigation and anyone with information on this fire that could help should definitely reach out to the Sheriff's Office. It's like people, people don't care about others. Like it's a sad world that we live in. I also talked with a former staff member who spent 23 years in this school. She told me it is very sad because they all were just like family to one another while working here. In Burien, Denise Whitaker, Como News. While students in the virtual academy only went to campus on occasion, the Innovation Academy high school students actually learn in person there. It's unclear where they will start on the first day of school, September 4th.